Hi, this is Jonathan. I want to come to you today just to explain uh, one of the best things that I've found for inflating uh, my paddle ski. And this goes for any of the larger Sea Eagle products, whether it's the Fish Skiff or you know the Fold Cats or, or any of the larger, um, larger boats that Sea Eagle offers, or even maybe you're tired of using the manual pump. Uh, maybe you're looking to get something different. I wanted to introduce to you today the Bravo BTP-12 Mano Pump. And that is in this particular case here. It's all one complete package. I'm gonna go over uh, some of the differences between the manual pump and of course the new Mano Pump uh, that Sea Eagle sells. So stay tuned. We'll take a look at all of this and see if it's right for you. Now first I want to start off with the SUP4 pump. The SUP4 pump is a manual pump. It does have a pressure gauge on the top of it. So you are able to see the kind of pressure that you're you know, putting into your uh, paddle ski, kayak, or any of the other, other products. So you can easily verify the correct air pressure, but of course it does take longer. Now in this video, I'm gonna reference everything with the paddle ski. So with this manual pump, it takes roughly 10 minutes to inflate uh, this entire paddle ski. You're really not able to do anything else during this time unless you know, someone is, is here you know, helping you set everything up. So let me go ahead and get this paddle ski deflated and we'll go through the process and see how quick uh, we're able to inflate the paddle ski. All right, while the paddle ski is deflating, I wanted to go through and show you what comes with the Bravo BTP Mano Pump. So if we open this first compartment here, you can see the pump itself. You're able to select your PSI, or if you're using bars, that can be found on the outer ring. You've got your inflation uh, hose connector, and then you've got your on and off button. Now in the middle section, this is where I keep the charger for the battery pack that I got. And just remember, Sea Eagle sells the uh, BTP Mano pump with the battery and then without the battery. There is a price difference there. Now, this is the battery portion connector if you're gonna use an external battery. I keep the alligator clips that also comes with the pump down in the bottom. Um, I don't ever leave that at home because you never know when you're gonna have a dead battery and need to use your truck or any other type of marine battery. Now on the back side, the only thing left to show you is the hose. Now everything fits nice and compact in this, this case that comes with the Bravo um, Mano pump. So let's start the process of getting the paddle ski inflated. I'll make sure I you know, get all the rest of the air out of it and we'll see how long it takes. Now that the paddle ski is deflated and the battery and pump are connected, uh, remember the paddle ski takes 3.2 PSI as its recommended highest pressure on the pontoons and then the middle section is 10 PSI at its highest recommended. And you'll probably hear once we start this, the BTP Mano has a low pressure, high volume fan that first initially starts to inflate uh, the, the paddle ski here, and then it switches over to a high pressure piston uh, driven stage two. And you know, the BTP Mano is generally faster than some of your other uh, you know, pumps out there on the market. So we'll see that. It's all connected. We're gonna start the timer as soon as we start this and see how fast we can inflate this paddle ski. All right, I've got it connected. I'm gonna select the pressure on this dial and we're gonna start the timer. Now, one of the great things about having a, an electric pump is that you can start putting things on your paddle ski that you wouldn't normally be able to do. It helps quicken your setup. So I can start putting rod holders and any of the other accessories 
that I plan on taking you know out on the water with me now before we start this last one remember we've got to switch it to 10 psi because of the high pressure drop stitch floor all right look in that amount of time I was able to get the rest of the paddle ski rigged up with the exception of let's say the two seats and then whichever motor that I plan to put on here but that's one of the great things about the BTP Mano pump um, as I mentioned earlier it is quicker than a lot of the other pumps out there on the market but one of the best benefits about this is you haven't worked yourself trying to inflate it with a manual pump and I was able to set up rod holders my depth finder um, holder and then my anchor and other rod holders so in that amount of time I probably could have put both seats on put the motor on and would have been ready to go uh, to get on the water instead of you know maybe taking I don't know roughly another five to ten minutes putting everything on and then getting on the water so you know in this case the BTP Mano pump saves time effort and you know it allows you to get get the opportunity to do other things so for me this is probably one of the greatest investments you could probably have uh, with any of these sea eagle products so if you have any questions comments need any additional information uh, feel free to leave you know a question or comment in the comment section and look at the description we do have the link for the btp mano uh, pump you can either get it with the battery or without the battery. All right, thank you.